demonstrations here. I'm going to get you lot involved in. I'm going to try and describe to you why they happen and try to give examples of how that's used in like society and around us, you know what I mean? This is just a gyroscope. This is the thing that's in a rocket, yeah? To try and keep it going in the same direction. Incredible. Well, if you bounce it around, would you uh, it? Yeah, you can, you can bounce it around a little bit, yeah. It should no stay way. like that. No way. Whoa. Yeah. Who reckons they can get this egg in this bottle without breaking the egg? Does everyone know what flames need to burn? What you need for oxygen. 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 Right. Say that. And you know there's a certain amount of oxygen in that jar. Yeah. Every time you light that, you're using up the oxygen inside. Yeah. And it'll get to a point where the oxygen oh, goes. And then you put, that the egg. put the egg on the top. You see, it's see, not working. It is. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, that's our trick. That's how it was meant to yeah. be. You can yeah, do it without breaking. How would you do it without breaking it? You need to lubricate it with the water. Because what happens is, yeah, because the outside of it will slide better into the bottle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can we do it again, then? Yeah. Oh. Ah! I'm going to try this, then. I don't know if this is going to work. But that's science. That doesn't always go right. Come on out. Oh! That science gone bad. Who thinks they can get this into the bottle? without moving the bottle. Go and try it. This is street science, it means you can do it. I mean, it's not all about me, it's about you. You can do this, go and try it. Blow it in. Blow it, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, you can just it, However you think. No, but you can't blow it because it comes out. Okay, let me try. No. Whoa. <laughs> it's the force that's in there, isn't it? Yep. Get out. You can imagine that as you blow in, all the particles shove in, create enough pressure and push it back out. So, you need to do the opposite. You've got to take air out of the inside sucking. by sucking. If you do it, if you've got a straw, you just put the straw in and it works. What else have I got? I'm going to try a little game of strength using these. Yeah, so I need the two strongest people here. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone else, all uh, right, wicked, to hold on to that. You gotta hold on to that as hard as you can, yeah? And you don't wanna move at all, yeah? yeah? So that's the thing. And all you gotta do is pull on that cord as hard as you can and you lot gotta resist it. Okay, okay, okay. Pull it, pull it harder, pull it harder. We'll try that again. Wow. This <laughs> strong. We can wrap this back round like this. You lot holding on tight? <laughs> See, the man's are fighting each other now, all right, all right? We'll try it again. We can get this round one more time. You know, I'm starting to feel the pressure now, ain't it? <laughs> Three, two, one. Pull that. Pull that. Look at that. You see that? All the way over there. Look, look. One foot away. Oh. Bless, bless, bless. Wow. So that's some crazy stuff right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When you put it around twice, it exerts twice the amount of force. Yeah? When you work, put it around three times, it's three times the amount of force. So for one pull, it feels like she's pulling three times as strong. If you needed to lift a heavy weight, say you're resting up there and trying to pull up a man out of the river, you wouldn't just put this up there and pull him out like this. You could wrap it around something else, wrap it around again, and when you pull it, it should be a bit less. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and that's street science. Thank you for taking your time out. Thank you for indulging in a little street science. And um, I hope you lot can just take it on more.